Hey folks, it's Bilal Amjad here and you are watching this video on www.bilalamjad.pw uh, Today our lesson is about understanding the navigation through pages in XAML. First of all, we will look at the simple scenario and, and then we will discuss how to pass data between the pages. So folks, understanding the navigation architecture and implementing it is very much important. Uh, if you uh, if you are going to develop any kind of application because most of the application these days requires page to page navigation as well as page to page data transform either it's a window phone application windows form application server light or windows 8 application but we are going to discuss the scenarios related to xaml uh, so in this uh, uh, lesson you are going to learn how to create different pages and connecting them with each other and how to pass data between them uh, first of all we'll create uh, uh, another page because we have only one page here we will we need another page to pass uh, actually I'm using uh, I am demonstrating this on this uh, blank windows phone silver light application for this you need to download visual studio 13 with update to uh, okay now i am using another page uh, and i am naming it as second page sorry it's be uh, it's a bit slow uh, due to uh, certain processes which are being executed at the background uh, uh, now the visual studio is loading the designer view of my second page so here is my second page uh, I don't need this stuff for this I will remove everything and will import a stack panel stack panel and in the stack panel i'm going to insert a text block with text uh, hello i am second page i'm going to give it a font size of 40 it's enough i think so okay uh, just save it now I'm going back to the main page.xaml. Here I need a button. Uh, wait, uh, wait a minute. I need a. Uh, I should use a stack panel instead of grid. Uh, I need text block with text. I, I'm first page. Now I need another control, a button control and I say uh, its name is uh, nav button which will, which will be used for the navigation purpose and I am saying that its content is press me to navigate so here is my button actually what I am going to do is when I will press this button it will navigate to the second page dot xaml for this i need a uh, click uh, click method or click event to handle this for this i will just uh, register my event as click okay there are two methods for registering an event the first is uh, right click and use uh, this option will be intelligence will bring this option automatically just click it and it will register your uh, click method the other option is that uh, selecting uh, first of all select your control then click this bold button pr uh, available in the properties window in when you will click here are a number of mm, predefined uh, events but just use uh, double click the click event and it will take you to the uh, uh, main page.xaml.cs file the c sharp file uh, but the good practice is that to register your event and then just right click on the event uh, your event name and then select go to definition as f12 is the shortcut key 
now uh, here is our uh, navigation method that when our button will be clicked uh, will uh, tell the con uh, will tell the button what to do in this event uh, okay now uh, there are two ways to there are actually many ways to uh, navigate through pages one of them is to navigate to frames using frame the other one is to use navigation services uh, I'm using the simple methods here first uh, I will use different methods to uh, uh, pass data between uh, pages one of them is through simple query string and the other is to use classes we will different uh, we will use them and we will uh, see how we can do this in the upcoming tutorials but first today we are going to see a simple scenario so here is a method you can use a frame dot navigate Uh, second page okay why it's showing me the error here uh, actually sorry uh, this error is because I'm uh, developing a Windows phone silver light application that's why it is showing me this error uh, if you are developing a WPF uh, this format will support the WPF Windows presentation foundation application basically so this will not be applicable I'm uh, I'm sorry for this uh, to fix it we have another option in silverlight application how we uh, actually navigate through pages is navigation service dot navigate here will tell new UI has Uh, now we have different URI kinds. Uh, the one uh, the we will use URI kind relative, which means we know our page uh, which is present in the application. If you have certain, uh, if you have something available in your application, then you will just use relative uh, URI kind relative. Uh, else, if you are using some URL of any website of or if you are using uh, uh, something out of this. Uh, application uh, then you have to use URI kind dot uh, absolute this one and if you are not sure rather it's relative or absolute just use this one but in this case our URI kind is relative so uh, let's see uh, this way this is how we can navigate through our pages just uh, uh, see how this application is working up till now So here is my uh, application. Uh, this is our button. Press me to navigate, and this is the first page. If I click the button, it will take me to the second page. This is how we can navigate in uh, Silverlight application using XAML and C Sharp. Uh, now let's see how we can pass data between the pages. Uh, okay, I'm taking back this application. I'm stopping it and uh, let's make some slight changes uh, here I will say that message 1 is equal to so we are passing one uh, parameter that message one is equal to I am message uh, now uh, we have a method uh, we have different methods uh, on navigated 
to and uh, on navigated from in windows phone application let's see uh, how uh, this these will be help us these are going to help us just create a new method protected override void uh, on navigation or navigated to so here's you are initializing it with an empty string if now actually uh, we have our uh, we have declared a string with name message uh, and what we are doing uh, we are we are uh, saving that string which will be the message one parameter which we are passing through here we are taking it in this message string we are saving that in this so we will say that uh, text block one oh sorry one is equal to uh, dot p actually her uh, error will be uh, error will occur because we haven't declared any text block there uh, let's write a code then we will declare it also Uh, going back to the main page.xaml file uh, mm, yes actually I have to change this value in the second page xaml.cs so I am going to declare another text block here this will display a message to the second page from the first page uh, and actually uh, I was doing uh, one thing I forgot to tell you I forget to tell you that the method uh, on navigated to I have to declare uh, I have to create this method not in the main page dot xaml dot cs actually in the page where i want to display that message this message uh, this one i message one from main page dot xaml uh, so i was uh, mistakenly i was writing it in in the same file but no i have to create it i have to create it in this uh, second page okay so let's go in the second page dot xaml dot cs which will be available here and under this second page i will just write this one so let's see how it works uh, i'm going to just play So here is our application. Uh, when I press uh, this button, it will navigate to the second page, and it and it is saying, "Hello, I am second page. I am message one from main page or XAML. Actually, the font size was uh, larger, so it is not displaying properly. Just fix it uh, by uh, decreasing the font size. 
so this is how we can pass the data in uh, Silverlight application for uh, WPF we will see how we can pass the data in WPF application in our very next tutorial thank you for watching the video for suggestions for feedbacks I'm waiting for you just log on to www.bilalamju.pw and feel free to ask anything thank you very much